वेलकम फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इन फाइव मिनट्स टूडेज टॉपिक इज सिंपल स्ट्रेसिस एंड स्ट्रेन कोर्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फर्स्ट विल स्टडी लोड्स एंड टाइप ऑफ लोड्स देन स्ट्रेसिस एंड स्ट्रेन टेंजाइल टेस्ट डायग्राम विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज स्ट्रेस्ड स्ट्रेन कर्व देन विल स्टडी डिफॉर्मेशन ड्यू टू लोड देन डिफॉर्मेशन इन टेपरिंग बार्स देन डिफॉर्मेशन ड्यू टू सेल्फ वेट कंपाउंड बार्स विच विल स्टडी इन टॉपिक स्टैटिकली इनडिटर्मिनेट स्ट्रक्चर सिस्टम्स then temperature stresses and strain three dimensional analysis strain analysis and then elastic constants loads and type of loads now what is load force acting on a body can be called as a load consider a uniform cross section bar a body which is being acted upon by load p the bar could be of circular cross section or square cross section but in both the cases cross sectional area is uniform now in three dimensional spaces this in x y and z direction the direction in which the body has the highest dimension is called as your longitudinal direction whereas the other two direction the y and z direction that is this direction and this direction are called as transverse or lateral direction so we have longitudinal direction then transverse slash lateral direction now load acting along longitudinal direction is called as longitudinal load whereas load acting along the other two lateral or transverse direction is called as lateral load of course lateral load is not shown here it is not acting in this case now the body can be called as a beam you can see the square cross section bar which is being supported at its two end if the load act on this body in the transverse direction single load or maybe a combination of uniformly distributed load then this body is called as beam now again consider the two bodies if the load acts on this body along the longitudinal directions then this body can be called as simple longitudinal bars or columns now what is tensile load now consider a bar of again uniform cross section acted upon by load as shown in figure let l be its length if the load tends to elongate the body it is called as tensile load you can see that the action of load on this body is such that so as to elongate its length so that the length is changed to lc so such type of load is called tensile load compressive load if the load tends to shorten or compress the body it is called as compressive load again consider this uniform cross section rod which is being acted upon by load p as shown in a figure you can see the direction changed reversed the action of this force on the body is to reduce the length of the body shorten its length so that the change length lc is shorter than l such load is called as compressive load 